Can you solve this problem? Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. The common response to this problem is that it's not possible to get a sum of 30. Since all the given numbers are odd numbers, there is no way you can get a 30 if you add 3 odd numbers. Because the sum of 3 odd numbers will always be an odd number. But let's think outside the box to solve this problem. There's multiple answers to this problem. Here's our first solution. For the first box, I will write the number 13. The second box, I will write the number 11. 13 plus 11 is 24, so this means that the third number should be a 6 to get a sum of 30. Can you read what am I thinking? I will use the number 9, and I will rotate this number 9 180 degrees to form a 6. So here we go, 13 plus 11 plus 6 is equal to 30. There is nothing in the instruction that we are not allowed to rotate numbers. So 9 can be written as a 6. 13 plus 11 plus 6 is equal to 30. You may also rearrange the numbers 13, 11, and 6 to get a sum of 30. Here's our solution number 2. For the first box, I will write the number 15. For the second box, I will write the number 9. 15 plus 9 is 24. So we need to get a 6 to get a 30. Just like solution number 1, I will use the 9 but write it as an inverted number 6. The problem says you can also repeat the numbers. So I used the number 9 twice and I rotated one of them to form a 6. So 15 plus 9 plus 6 is also equal to 30. You may also rearrange the numbers 15, 9, and 6 to get a 30. Here's our solution number 3. For the first box, I will write the number 13. For the second box, I will use the number 11. And for the third box, I cannot use 6 anymore because that's exactly the same as our solution number 1. I will use 3 exclamation points. And this means 3 factorial. 3 factorial means 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 6. So 13 plus 11 plus 3 factorial is equal to 30. You may also change the order of these numbers. Can you think of other solutions? Here's our solution number 4. For the first box, I will write the number 15. For the second box, I will write the number 5. 15 plus 5 is 20, so this means that the third box should be a 10 to get a 30. And here's our third box number. This symbol means 5 choose 3. To evaluate 5 choose 3, we will use 5 factorial over 3 factorial times the difference of 5 minus 3 and then factorial. 5 factorial means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 factorial means 3 times 2 times 1 and 5 minus 3 is 2 so we need to do 2 factorial which means 2 times 1. Simplifying this 1 divided by 1 is 1 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 3 divided by 3 is also 1. So for the numerator, we have 5 times 4 is 20. For the denominator, we have 2 times 1, which is 2. So the answer is 10. So the expression 15 plus 5 plus 5 choose 3, which is 10, is equal to 30. Can you think of other solutions? Here's another one, and please let me know if you agree with this solution. For the first box, I will write 13. For the second box, I will write 11. And for the third box, I will write 5. 
But wait, that's not equal to 30. 13 plus 11 is 24. 24 plus 5 is 29. So I need to have one more to make it a 30. Can you read what am I thinking? I will make 5 as 5.5. 5. And I will make 11 as 11.5. 11 we are allowed to use a decimal point as it's indicated right here. So 13 plus 11.5 is 24.5. 24.5 plus 5.5 is 30. You can also change the position of 0.5. So this means you can also have 13.5 plus 11.5 plus 5. That's still 30. Or you can have 13.5 plus 11 plus 5.5, which is also 30. Do you agree with these solutions? Can you think of other solutions? Please comment below. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel at Celzo Academy.